a career and um, you juice the lemon dry, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, he, fighting to the end. Um, Alex was too good today. He played really well, quality player. Um, yeah, really special to do it on this court. I've had some really good memories on this court and um, in front of an incredible uh, support. The, you know, you guys come every year. It's been 16 years I've been coming to this tournament and I really just wanted one more go um, with mum, dad and Fee and everyone. You've got a great team over here and it's kind of symmetrical in a way because you started off fighting your way through qualifying so many times to make it to the main draw and then you finish in qualifying here as well. D do you have a favourite memory? Uh, well, I don't know. Um, here on this court, uh, I won my first best of five against Yul Muller. Oh, that one always sticks with me. Um, just any time, you know, the crowd lifted me, which happened a lot. You know, I needed that help. Uh, I was never the, the biggest guy or the biggest hitter. I needed um, every bit of energy and they came in their droves always, even in qualifying. Um, it might not seem like much that, you know, I bow out in qualies, but it uh, means a lot. What was it about your game style? You, you hated a three-set win. You'd much prefer to do it dramatically in five and here at the Australian Open, six times you went to five sets and you had some losses, but you had some unbelievable yeah. wins as well. I just wasn't good enough to win in straight, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, mate, it probably just um, summarised my career. I had a lot of people who didn't think I'd eventuate too much. Um, I stuck at it. The ones that did think I would are probably all over there. And um, yeah, summarised summarise my career. I wasn't good enough to, to win it easy. I always had to leave it out there. And yeah, hopefully I, I represented that each time I came on the court. I think the Aussies got behind me because um, I was a bit of a battler. No doubt about that. You beat Roger Federer at the US Open. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I lost to him here. Um, yeah, I did. Look, great, great win. I would have loved to reverse it and actually beaten him here at the Australian Open when I lost in five. Um, but yeah, look, there's been plenty of highs. Probably not the highlight of my career. Anytime I could uh, dress up in the green and gold in the uh, in Davis Cup in particular and, and Olympic Games. Um, you know, those, those are the moments that I really, um, you know, enjoyed. Uh, and, and they're the ones that will probably stick with me. But, yeah, the personal wins, you know, some of those big ones. I got to play on all the, the big courts around the world. And um, like I said, there were a lot of times where I didn't think that would be possible. So I'm very grateful. I'm grateful for all the support. I'm grateful for all the sacrifices, especially my family's made and friends. Um, I'm really grateful and uh, yeah, I'll go with my head held high that I, I, I gave it everything and yeah, the body kind of let me down towards the end of the career and, and um, in a way I'm happy that that was the case, you know, because I feel like that that, um, that was what was going to beat me, not, not anything else, that's what would make me stop and, and ended up being true. Well, the good news is you don't have to go and have an ice bath. So that's the upside. What's next for John Millman? Yeah, going to go back home and do a bit of study. Um, probably leave tennis for a while. I need to kind of uh, recharge there. But yeah, get back home to Brisbane, surround myself with, um, you know, those good people in my life that, you know, have always been there for me. And, and um, yeah, and we'll see what's happening next. But a bit of study back home and um, yeah, get back to, to the loved ones back there. International audience, but from an Australian perspective, tennis fans, sports fans, fans of uh, people that love giving everything for Australia, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. John Millman, ladies and gentlemen.